What's up guys, Gims, and welcome back to Pro Cycle 2022 for the start of Season 2 of the Cervelo Test Team Career Mode. Uh, thank you for well, having waited until the first episode of Season 2. It's been a while. Uh, there's been a total France. I was on holiday. Uh, a bit of a hiatus for me regarding YouTube. But we are now back for Season 2. Uh, I'm going to quickly do pre-season, RNG, all of that. I had already done it, but apparently the game forgot about it. I'm going to do everything again, and I'll see you for the start of the Down Under. Last year, we had started our season with a win on the Down Under, a win that was very much unexpected. This year, we're aiming for the same. Hugo is our leader, once again, in the Aussie roads. Uh, we're going to see a lot of new jerseys, starting with us. We have a brand new kit. Uh, goodbye to the dark kit, and hello to the clear one. We're going for the white jersey this year. Um, yeah, there's a lot of new jerseys, so uh, we'll learn them as time goes on, and yeah, let's just try to enjoy this, uh, this first few races. All right, start our sprint, shall we? Uh, 3k to go, we're terribly positioned, that's, that's how I want to start my season, that just, it just is the way I wanted to start it. Uh, Tropical Misa Bongo, we're not doing well either. Good, there's going to be a top 15 finish for us. Debut this year, despite having a plus four. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing well. I can feel the lack of, of PCM playing time in the past few weeks. Stage two, and it's the first plus five for Google. Hopefully, the first of many. Just like last year, I'm really struggling to uh, get at the front of the peloton. I have a six man train out of seven riders. I'm, I'm pacing 99, and it's still not working. But we're gonna see if uh, Riley Pick will be a Canadian champion. Can maybe have uh, something to say about this. We're sprinting for Google, as one should. Come on. All right. It's going to be our first mass sprint this year. The day of launch. Way too early. We're going to come back at them. No, he's, he's chosen the, right, the wrong fucking side. Mr. Zukowski, I'm very much disappointed. Pierre André Côté. Hugo is still in the wheel. I mean, I'm not going to be able to defeat the biggest sprinters. It's going to be back to back wins for Rodewegen. But it's the first podium this year. And it's for Pierre André Côté. Stage number three, the first heli stage, uh, and for us, our first chance at taking a win, which would not be the first win of the season, as Fabio Christen just took stage four of the Tropical Amisa Bongo. I mean, if this isn't why you're watching this save, I don't know why you're doing it. All right, we're going to start the course through. Uh, this is where last year, I believe, I did not win. I usually win here, but oh, I think maybe last year there wasn't, and Pitcock just crashed. Pedus crashed at the very, very beginning of the course group. Well, that's just made my life a lot easier. Because Pedus is my biggest opponent, according to the game. Uh, Alright, well, I'm not going to say that I have a boulevard, but I do have better conditions than I had at the very beginning. 900 meters until the summit. We're going to drop Zukowski, making sure that he doesn't fully explode. And we'll see what we can do at this very summit. Pierre André Côté is going to explode. Warren Margit is the one chasing me. Hugo is going to launch a very, very tiny attack, which did not do anything. That's fine. Let's pace with a James Picole and try to maybe drop the peloton. Well, 2k to go. James Picole is going to launch Hugo. And then Pierre André Côté. It's not going to be a win for us today, sadly. Uh, I don't, actually, I don't know. No, it's not. It's Katkowski who takes it ahead of us. And Filippo Baroncini. Good. Uh, once again, the frame rate on the down under. Horrendous. Yet another spin stage. Uh, hopefully, I can do better than P3. Okay, to go. In stage number four, Adam DeVos is being blocked here by a, a movie star rider. Which is interesting. I didn't recall movie star having sprinters, but we move. Um, Zukowski is now getting blocked by an FDG rider. Good. Uh, and I'm now 50 meters behind everyone. Ah, lovely. There goes Pierre-André Côté. And there goes Hugo Hull. And to the shock of no one, it's not a win. It's a win for Olaf Koy. Ahead of the game called Matthew Wolves. Uh, Hugo finishes top 10. Probably. Nope, 11th. Yet another sprint. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to figure it out. Okay, to go. Uh, we're well positioned. 
for once. And I'm giving 99. So there's technically no way I should give a take on. Right? I think, I think that's how it works. Uh, but yeah, last year, that's the stage that allowed me to win. The Down Under, that was the stage I won with Adam DeVos. Um, he's going to be the one leading the train for Pierre-André Côté and Hugo Hull. There goes Mr. Pierre-André. And now, there goes Hugo Hull. Where is the peloton? I do not know. What I do know is that Hugo Hull, just like last year, gives us our first World Tour win. What a fucking legend. Queen stage. It's a plus four for Hugo Hull today. Um, supporting cast is quite poor, but it is Hugo. 79-79 today. There's no way he loses. Here it is. For the final time this year, the Will and Gale. Hugo Hull right behind James Piccoli. Uh, I've got Myers Leonard in my wheel. I know it's not Myers, but I just like to call him that. Uh, but yeah, Hugo is doing well. He's in a good position. We've got Jake Stewart, uh, Castellan. All right, everyone behind me is not a threat. That is very good for me. That's very, very good. Where's, where's the peloton going? Where? Okay, sure. 1.4k to go. And Hugo is about to lead this, um, this peloton. There goes uh, Total Energy with Fle uh, Clément Champoussin. Luke Plab, Jack Stewart. Mate, Hugo. U oh, Hugo. Hugo is too good. Hugo Hull has obliterated the Willingy Hill. Wow. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a win for Hugo Hull and the GC for us. Back to back Dylanders for the boys at Cervelo. Yeah, uh, <laughs> sure domination by Hugo. Genuinely, I'm, in, I'm speechless. Moving on to the Spanish races, uh, we're gonna like storm through them. If something good happens, uh, then, then something good happens. It's the same lineup for every single trofeo. Today, it looks like it's gonna be Adam DeVos's day. It's the third trofeo, but it could be potentially our first win. And Hugo, we're not, oh, we're not well placed at all. There's way too many corners. Don't be Paris Peintre again, he's already won twice, for fuck's sake. It's not gonna be him. Oh, it's gonna be close between myself and Dorian Godon here. I think I'm gonna lose to the Frenchman. Yep, yeah, it's uh... So it's three wins and three trophies for Arge de Zer. Cool. Two podiums for us. Alright, still in Australia, moving on for the Seagull. Um, I thought I would show you something in San Luis. Uh, nothing happened. <laughs> Literally nothing happened. And not even a single top 10 from me. A very poor display, if, uh, if I do say so myself. Uh, but yeah, let's try to uh, do things with Yugul. Almost 8k left. Uh, I'm trying to sprint for Yugul, but he's not in the wheel. Oh, there he is. Lovely. Um, all right, well, historically, I don't really win the Seagull. It's not, not my race, but you never know. Maybe with, with some luck, or just, just yeah, I'm just going to lose. Probably like the, the best course of action. Seeing the, the Bora launching their sprint. Uh, they've taken a massive L. And it's gonna be Gaviria. Can you hold on to. Who is that? Ethan Vernon? Yeah, he can. Gaviria takes a win. In World Tour, nonetheless. Wow. We are yet. Uh, we're still in Australia. This time for the Herald Sun Tour. Uh, I've sent to go there because there's a mountain stage, so I figured it could be fun. Um, but yeah, um, I guess we're gonna have one week here in Australia. And in the meantime, we've got the uh, Volta Valenciana, which I've already choked uh, because I sent six riders on the uh, team time trial when most sent seven. So I'm now five minutes down after 30 kilometers. Nice. I mean, who knew there were mountains like this in Australia? Because I certainly did not. Um, but yeah, it's a 28 kilometer climb at an average gradient of 4%, but the first 10 kilometers are genuinely flat. So it's, it's a tough climb. It's a tough climb. We've got Kurt Nielsen up front, he's going to get co-op, sadly uh, he's not going to do what he did on the DLT for of Tigne in the Tour de France. Um, is there any climber there? Yes, there is Vlasov and Lucas Hamilton. Interesting. Uh, we're going for James Piccoli today for the sole reason that he's a lot better than Hugo. That's it, that's my reasoning. And the uh, increased rhythm from James Piccoli has uh, created a lot of gaps. We've, we've got Vlasov left with us. And we're in Margil. No, we don't have Vlasov anymore. We just have James Piccoli. And we're... Okay, we just have James Piccoli. So we're in for James Piccoli today at the Bogong High Plains Road. 
Or maybe in Falls Creek, I don't know. Is the climb called Road? That's a dead ass name. Still in Australia, uh, Ugul is the one leading the peloton uh, to try and cover the attacks of uh, Lamenting Neutrals and Magnus Court Nielsen. Here's Ada Schelling trying to do something the best from Guarda so far of this several term tour. Um, I don't have anyone fighting for the. I mean, I've got Riley Pickford, I guess, but. And I've got Michel Le Leonard. I've, I've, where's, his name, where's his first name again? I'll, I'll call him Michael Leonard, as it just sounds fun. Um, but yeah, 300 on the summit. We're doing well. Uh, once again, we'll go for James Piccoli. Three yeah. k to go. Adam DeVos, Hugo Hull, James Piccoli. Not sure that's the order I should go for, so we're going to swap James and Hugo. That has somehow not killed my train. Love that. Uh, oh, please tell, don't tell me that's a sprinter. Oh, that's Ethan Vernon. Yeah, we, yeah we've lost. It's a win for Ethan Vernon. Very strong start of the season for Ethan. He's won a lot He's, uh, in uh, Mr. Bongo as well. Final stage in uh, Australia, and that's for the entire year. It's a plus five for basically everyone. Good. Good. We should bring the RL Sims home. Final 3.5 kilometers. Uh, we, we've just managed to negotiate this stage literally perfectly. Uh, and I don't know if the win will be at the end of the stage. But it is sure that it's going to be a, a win for James Piccoli in this Herald Sun Tour. Hugo with a nice little gap. But Pierre-André Côté is going to swoop in and take the win. It's a 1-2. Three for us today, wrapping up a very successful Jake Harrell's on tour for the boys. End of the first episode. Um, seven stages, including well, seven wins, GCN stages. Can't really complain. Um, very good in Australia. The rest of the races, not too good. If we take a look at the podium, uh, we're going to get a few, um, mostly in Australia again, actually. Um, top five? <laughs> no. I thought I had two podiums in Spain. Am I dumb? Oh, I, I guess it was P6 then. Uh, but yeah, not the best of start, but I got points where it mattered, and that's on the down under. So yeah, good start for us. Next episode, we're going to have Oman, Algarve, Andalusia, probably the UAE tour as well. So yeah, we're going to try and be quick. Uh, rhythm of uploads, I haven't mentioned it. I'll try three times a week. So yeah, that's, that's the plan. Uh, it's going to be like, Probably Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays, and that's going to be until the end of September. Then we'll see because I'll have school back. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the uh, comeback of Cervelo. If you have, then destroy the like button to show support for Ugul. Once a goat, still a goat, and I'll catch you very, very soon. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. Yeah. Pass me the phone.